This is about to change the way that I message people, okay? Now, instead of doing like, you know, a regular tap back, I can stack emojis instead as my tap back. I'ma just drag a bunch of hearts on top of it. So this is just one tip that I have for you in today's video. Now, I do have some others, but first, what is going on, y'all? Tech me out here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about organizational hacks or tips and tricks, if you will, that should make your life easier. Now this tip right here has saved me in a lot of different scenarios and that is the option to scan a document with your phone. So the way that you go about doing that is just to open up your notes app and once you've created a new note, you can hit the camera and then select scan document. I'm gonna just use this right here as an example. So you just line it up, it automatically takes the photo <laughs> or you can turn off auto so that you can take it yourself and then that way you can get it lined up and snap the photo. So I'm gonna select keep scan here, or if I need to adjust it, I could do that by just dragging the corners, but everything looks good. So we're gonna say keep scan. It took a couple different shots of this, so we're just gonna save them all. And I'm gonna hit save, and now they are in here in my notes app. I like this especially for like manuals. Does anybody keep manuals anymore? Like I really try to digitize them and this is a nice way to do it. It's also really good when you gotta scan like documents on the fly, but it's an even quicker way y'all that you can scan a document. And that is to long press on the notes app from your home screen and choose scan document. And it'll instantly take you to the page where you can do so, which kind of leads me up to my next tip, which is taking advantage of shortcuts on your home screen. I'm not gonna lie, let me get this out of the way. This is something that I myself am working on as well and being more intentional about doing. So as you saw there, when we long press on the notes app, we have all these different options. We can make a new note without having to enter into the app, a new checklist, a new photo, or scan a document. On top of that, you could even come up here to your weather app long press it on the home screen and quickly get the weather for specific cities or we can come in here and press add and it'll let you add a city that you want if you were to long press on photos it'll give you the option to look at pictures from a year ago see your most recent your favorites the music app even has some nice options here so i can quickly get to my most recently played music or play my personal station long pressing on instagram that's going to give you quick access to your notifications a new post my camera <laughs> On. Like, I don't have to dig to post a story anymore. <laughs> or I can long press on YouTube and quickly get to my subscriptions or search. So I like these things because I was putting widgets on my screen to do some of these things, which takes up more space than an icon. So yeah, something we need to take advantage of. Now this one is a quick one, but useful. And it's the option to rearrange your menu and messages. So you know how you come in here to create a message and you might wanna hit the plus symbol to add either a photo or anything like that. You can actually customize this. So just long hold on it and drag it to where you want it to be. I did not know that. And now I can move something like location out of the way and put something else there that I'm gonna use more frequent. Another thing I've been doing that's been really useful for me is pasting edits. So in your photos app, you can come in here when you're looking at a video or a photo, choose edit, and then, you know, come in here and make your edits. So I'm going to brighten this up because it's a little hard to see. It's not the best edit job, but you get the picture. So once we're done though, we're going to come up here to these three dots in the top right, and we're just going to tap on them. And then you can select copy edits and then go to the photo that you want to paste it to, select the three dots in the top right, and then tap Paste Edits. It is now applied instantly to that without you having to manually change those things. This saves so much time. And a quick bonus, if you go back to your gallery of photos, you can pinch to zoom in or out so that you can see more or less. And also from within this view here as well, you can long press on one and select Paste Edits. Another thing that's been really useful for me is emergency bypass. This has been great for when I want to get, you know, notifications, audible and visual from specific people, regardless what mode my phone is in. So you can consider this your VIP of VIP. Honestly, truly. The way that you go about doing this is to go to your phone app, find the contact name and tap edit in the top right. Once you're in here, you're gonna scroll down to the ringtone option. And then this option up here at the top, emergency bypass, we're gonna to toggle that on. And then just select done. Now again, I say, regardless of what mode your phone is in, if you turn that on for a person, your phone is gonna go off, even if it's on silent, okay? But while we're talking about contacts, another thing that I like that I have set up for certain contacts is custom vibrations. And this has been really handy for me because my phone is 
pretty much on silent all the time. And with this option, I'm able to know who's texting or calling me without even looking at my phone. So like if it's in my pocket, I don't have to pull it out. If it's on the table, again, I don't have to pick it up. It just saves time. So a custom vibration is for me kind of like another exclusive thing and it's not done for every contact. So to set a custom vibration, you're gonna go to the contact name, select edit, and then you're gonna go down to either ringtone or text tone, whichever one you wanna set. So in my case, I wanna do a text tone, so I'm gonna tap that. And then I'm gonna select this option here that says haptics. And then we're just gonna come down here to the bottom and we're gonna select create new vibration. So now I'm gonna just tap what I want this pattern to be. That's all I got. <laughs> and then once you've done yours, you're gonna hit play to, you know, fill it back. And then we're gonna hit save. Now when this particular contact reaches out to me, this is the vibration pattern that I'll feel from my phone. Now this next one here is really good for those scenarios when you're on Safari, you're reading an article and you keep getting hit with their ads. But you can combat those by simply going to Safari and turning on your reader view. So just tap those double A's in the bottom left on that search bar section and then tap show reader. And this is gonna take all of the information on that page and simplify it so that it's more like a streamlined article. And in turn, gets rid of the ads. Now the reader view doesn't work on every web page, more so when you're reading an article. So right now, if I were to tap here and try to pull up a reader view, it's not gonna work. But if I were to go to an article, it'll give me the option. So yes, technically the ads are still there, but still, this could help you in some scenarios. All right, now taking it back to messages. So you know how your friends sometimes send you these really long voice memos? I am that friend. But besides the point, in those scenarios when you get those long voice messages, if you long press on the play button, you can tell it to play at any of these speeds so that it will play faster. I'm the type that I like to use either 1.5 or two times for my speed. And if you press the play button again, it'll just go back to normal speed. Yes, that is going to conclude all of the tips and tricks for today. However, I am doing more on my Instagram page from time to time. So if you ever want some more tips and tricks, feel free to follow me up there. I'll throw my name somewhere up in here, as well as in the description box below. But until the next one, y'all, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.